Hello everyone, welcome back to the Animarium. Today's video is going to be about an app called Tachiyomi. Tachiyomi is an amazing app on Android which lets you read manga, manhua and manhwa from a variety of different websites. This app is only available on Android and Windows as far as I know. In this video, I'll be going over how to download this app on Android and some of its basic features like adding manga to the watch list or the library. So let's get started with the intro. The first step is to download and install the Tachiyomi app. The easiest way to download this app is to download it from its own website. To do this, just follow these simple steps. First, go to your browser, then search for Tachiyomi. Find the link to the website named tachiyomi.org as shown in the video. Open the link and it will show this screen with the download button. Click on the download button and then click on the stable button. This will start the download. Note that if you are using web browsers like Google Chrome, then there will be a message that pops up telling you that this type of application can harm your device. Just click on OK and proceed to download. Once it is downloaded, install the app and the first step is complete. Another way to download this app is to download it from github.com. For this purpose, I used the Internet Download Manager app called IDM+. You guys can download it on your web browsers as well. Now moving on how to download from GitHub. First open the IDM Plus and click on this globe icon on the top. Now on the search tab type GitHub and hit search. Now click on this link right here and the next screen that you will see looks like this. Click on the three lines at the top right corner of the web page and search for Tachiyomi. On the next page click on this link that reads Tachiyomi org slash Tachiyomi. Now scroll down to the download area and click on releases page. The next page has different versions of Tachiyomi app. Here you will click on the latest version available and then scroll down and click on the assets. Now click on the link which shows the Tachiyomi APK and download the app. Once it's downloaded just install the app and we're good to go. The second step is learning about the user interface. Since I have already been using this app, I will go ahead and clone this app to show you guys how the UI looks like when it is just installed. And it's done. The app has been successfully cloned. Now open the Tachiyomi app and the first screen you will see is the library section. In this section, you will see all the manga, manhua and the manhwa that you have added to it. Moving on to the next section, we have the updates. Here you will see the latest chapters of the manga, manhua or the manhwa that you have in your library. Next we have the history section. Here you can see which chapters have already been read. Moving forward we have the browse section. This section is an important part of the app and this is the place where you can add the websites from which all the stuff will be added to your library. As you can see on the screen, the browse section has three subsections which are sources, extensions and migrate. I will explain about these in detail later. Moving on to the next section we have more. This is all the basic settings of the Tachiyomi app like appearance options, download settings, reading options, backup, security and the rest. Moving back to the browse section of the app, go to the extensions subsection. Here you will see a list of different websites. Choose any of them that you like and install the extensions for that website. This is all that you will need to know when you open the app for the first time. The third and the final step is how to add any manga, manhua or manhwa to your library. Here you can see how it looks like when you have your collection in the library. Then there's the update section and the history section. Now coming to the browse section, you can see these extensions that I have already installed in the sources subsection. It's your choice when it comes to the extensions that you wish to install. I have these three extensions already installed. Among these three, I personally like the manga box extension as it has about four to five websites 
in it which can be enabled or disabled as you like. Once the extensions are installed, go to the sources section and click on that website that you want to read your manga from. This will open up a list of manga, manhua or the manhwa that are available on that website. At the top, you can search for any manga that you want to read and when you find it, click and hold on the name of that manga and it will be added to your library. Another thing you can do is click on the name of the manga and then on the next page, you can click on add to library. Oh, I forgot to tell you that you can also change the way the titles are shown on the screen by clicking on the six dots on the top as you can see here. Another good setting available here is the filter option which lets you filter the manga, manhua and the manhwa according to the criteria that you can set. By clicking on the little globe like icon on the top right corner of the screen you will be directed to the website whose extensions you are using. If you want to check that out, that is, there are a few other features of the Tachiyomi app like downloading the next chapters beforehand or marking the chapters that you have already read. One of the best features that I personally like is that it, this app remembers the pages of the chapters that you were reading and allows you to continue to read from there when you return. And that's it for the basics of the Tachiyomi app that you guys will need to know in order to start using the app. If you guys want more videos like this one, hit that like button and a sub to the channel would be awesome. Thanks and have a nice day.